All right, we're going to take this project just a little further. Um, there's some things some people wanted to see. So let's do it, okay? So first thing, let's add another button here because we have two levels. We have the fireworks and then the transform. So I'm going to go to game object UI and I'm going to add another text mesh pro button. Um, I want them to show up in front of the menu. So I'm going to put them, or I mean, uh, behind the menu. So I'm going to put them back there, okay? I'm actually going to delete this text. I don't need something that says main menu. Okay, so I'm going to go to... Um, this first button that I'm going to call, oh, which one is this? Um, this one is the fireworks. So I'm going to call this fireworks button. And then down here, I'm going to call this transform button. Okay, now down here, I want to change this to say transform. Now this is centered. I'm going to go up to this one. Uh, whoops. Um, and I'm going to change this position to zero so it's centered oh that was not y that's negative 50 that's good i'm going to go to this button and i'm going to set it to zero so it's in the middle all right so there's my two buttons maybe i want to change the y just a little bit move it up okay so there we go we already have the canvas set so screen space camera and it scales with screen size so as i move this around the two buttons stay there now i could go to the main camera i could choose the background and maybe make it black maybe that's going to be a little more exciting um, i want to add some sound into my scene so really easy ways on anything in here i could literally just create an empty game object and call this uh background music and now it's gotten nothing all i want to do is add and so you've got all these different audio things but basically you just want a speaker an audio source that plays something i grabbed a random um, song from ben sound so just free royalty free music so i'm just going to drag that in as my clip and then i want it to play on awake and just keep looping now i think the volume is probably a little too high so i'm going to bring the volume down a little bit i'm going to leave everything else as is and now when i start Got some nice background music. Okay, so uh, right now we've got button this button that takes us to the fireworks scene. I also want to go to my other scene. So I'm just going to copy the name. So I'm 100% sure I got the name exactly right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my transform button. And down here on click, I want to grab the function of the script. Remember, so on the fireworks button, I put the script on here and put in the level name. So I'm going to do the same thing for the transform button. I'm going to grab our change level script, put it on the button. Okay. And now on, didn't I just put it on? I did not. Okay. Let's do that again. So it's on there. There we go. And then I'm going to type in that name. So this loads the transform. Okay. Now on click, we want to add a function that gets called from itself is the game object. And then from the script change level, we're going to call the change seed script. Okay. And I already typed in the name there. So this should work so that when I highlight this, the color is still working. And when I click this, it goes to transform. Great. It works. So now what I want to do is go to those other scenes and do kind of the same thing with a button really quick. Somebody said, how do you make the back button? How do you do... Um, zooming in, zooming out. So let's do that. Okay, ready? Let's go to um, the other scene. So I'm going to click on the transform scene. Yep, I want to save this. Okay, so I grabbed a random uh, back arrow. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make a button. So I've already got a canvas with a text in there. So I'm going to go game object UI. Let's make a new button. Now for the button's image over here, which is UI Sprite by default, I'm gonna drag in this arrow. And then I'm actually gonna go to the text under the button and I'm just gonna delete it, okay? If you want it to say back, you can. Now this button, I want to click here on the target, hold Alt, and I wanna lock it up here to the top left. And then what I could do is I could kind of move it a little over and move it a little down, whoops, a little down. So maybe it's like that, right? Now it looks a little smashed because this is the resolution here, about 10 by eight, but on the button, it's not a 10 to eight ratio. So 
let's go something like sure let's keep it like 200 and then this would be about 160 give or take and we can tweak it so it looks a little different okay that was way too big let's go 100 by 80 that looks better okay so let's bring down the y let's bring over the x okay so we've got our button there and then i want it to behave when i go over it so one easy way is instead of having the uh, interaction be based on color tint instead i could do an animation now i just say auto generate all the animations which is really nice that they do that for us and says where do you want us to save them all i'm going to make a new folder called animations okay and that's where i want to save all the animations so all i did was change this from color tint to animation and auto generate them okay so now what i can do is i can click on that button and go to an animation window if you don't have that go to window and then just um, choose animation and open both these windows animation is where you record the video clips and the animator is where you control which video clips play and when so i'm going to go to the animation window which is right here i click on the button and then i can hit record and change any animation i specifically want to change one when it gets highlighted i'm going to record now i could literally click anywhere on this timeline and change anything and it automatically goes oh you want to rotate oh and you want to uh change the pivot and oh you want to change the scale no i don't want those so i'm control z all i want my animation to do is change scale so i'm going to choose my scale tool up here at the top right i'm going to go to the scene view and i'm just going to drag on this and make it a little bigger i could have done it over here um so that's good enough sure oh let's even go huge okay why not so now this animation isn't an animation it's just a big arrow but it's going to transition from the no animation just smaller arrow to big arrow when i click on or when i hover over it so right now that's it i'm going to click stop so the only thing in the animation that gets changed is the scale if i expand it it's the x the y and the z that all get changed Okay, and now I could go to the animator window and it may look a little messy, but basically it says uh, when I start, okay, go to normal. And then from any state, if nothing else is going on, go back to normal. But at any given time, if the arrow is highlighted or pressed or selected, transition to this. So the transition we're looking at is right here, which transitions from normal to highlighted. And so we can expand and change these settings. But right now, let's look at what it looks like. So if I press play and then I hover over it, zoom, it gets bigger, right? Over it, that actually looks pretty good. Um, you could change the transition here to make it much quicker. Like I could do like 0.1. And so now, zoom, 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 zoom. I actually like that, 0.1. So anything you do in play mode doesn't save. So I exit play mode. Um, Oh, wow, it did because I edited a file directly. Oh, usually it doesn't save anything you do in the inspector window. All right, so I like this. Now, shh, we want this to go back to um, the other option. Let's just check. It's still at point one. Great. Okay, so I'm going to go to the button here and I'm going to add the script to so script inspector window. So on the button right now, oh, I am. Why is it not showing the button? There we go. Okay. So we got the animator, but on click is empty. So I'm going to add that script and I'm going to type in the level I want to go to. And on click, I want to run a script from this game object, which is itself, which scene, or I mean, which script is change level, which function is change scene. I just need to put the name of the scene in there. So again, I'm going to go to scenes and copy and paste so I don't miss up a mess up a lowercase or a capital. So I'm going to go in here, put it on. Okay. So now I should be able to big arrow click, transform, big arrow click, transform. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to do a, a few more things, but that transform is good to go. I'm going to go back to my main scene really quick. I controlled S to save that last one. Maybe I don't like uh, the button here. So I grabbed a random um, image off the internet. You could just draw your own, but I grabbed a random 
uh, sprite, sorry. And so here I just grabbed this button. So what I can do is I can expand this. I can go to the transform button. Now it says UI sprite. I could just drag in a different image. Now again, it looks kind of squashed because down here it's a two to one ratio exactly. So up here, I want this to be a two to one ratio. So if I don't change this, then this should be 80. Okay. And then I could do the same thing with the fireworks. So I could go to fireworks. And I could say, hey, I don't want that. I want this other one. Um, and again, I want two to one. So this is an 80. There we go. So there are my two buttons. Um, again, if I want to, I could not do tint color and instead do animations. Again, when I auto generate, I'm going to go to the animations folder. Uh, that was a generic button controller. So I've got fireworks button now. So I'm going to click that one. I'm even going to go a new folder and this is the fireworks button just so it's more clear which goes with which and again all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the fireworks button animation I'm going to say I want the highlighted thing here and then what do I want to do well I want to record and I want to just change its scale a little so again I'll go to scale tool here I'll change it the last time I did like to 1.3 maybe this time I just go to whoa 1.2, 1.2, and 1.2. Okay, and so I exit that. I mean, I hit stop recording, so that change is there. And now let's see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for transform. I'm gonna select animation. I'm gonna auto generate. I'm gonna go to animations, and I'm gonna make the transform button I'm gonna go in there save this and I'm gonna do the same thing so I click on the transform button I hit record I'm gonna go down to highlighted I'm going to just scale this a little bit and oh I didn't hit record sorry hit record and oh gosh darn let's unrecord control Z I want to go back to the original record and then I'll do the same thing so I just change it now it did the scale automatically I'm going to 1.2 so it's the same as the other one all right we could actually reuse the same clip but now look at that that's just so much more alive already we haven't done anything in the background yet uh, the last thing is maybe I don't like this font and so what I could do here is on the text I could change the font now, because this is Text Mesh Pro, you can't just drag in a font directly like you could um, before. But I just downloaded some random fonts from the internet. Here, here's one, right? It's not going to look fantastic. It was literally the first font on the website on the, like the Google fonts. So there's either it's like OTF or TTF. This is the .OTF file, but either will work. So all you need to do is right click on it. So you, you're selecting the font. And you just go to create a text mesh pro font asset and it auto generates the font asset that goes with the text mesh pro. So now I could just go to that fireworks buttons text and just drag this font in and boom, it looks what so fancy, right? Maybe I'm going to choose that. This is, uh, the color is right here. It's black. I'm going to choose that it's white or maybe not white, maybe. I don't know what color shirt. Let's go with orangish, reddish, pink. Let's go with orange. I like orange. Orange is a great color. <laughs> Definitely goes with green. Okay, then let's make this bigger. There we go. There's my fireworks button. It looks so fantastic, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. So that's size 30. So I'm gonna click on transform. I'm gonna go to the text. I'm gonna drag this in. I'm gonna go size 30. I'm going to choose a uh, color and you know what, instead of that, I'm going to choose, oh, well, let me sample. Where's the, there it is. I'm going to sample that color right there. Okay. Woo. Beautiful. You can barely read them. It's so beautiful. <laughs> now, oh. Uh. There we go. So there's music in the background, buttons that expand when you go over them. And now I click on it. 
new new level click on this to go back back to the main menu okay you guys hope you enjoyed that video next one i'll do some particle systems